Where do you spend your time during the day? How do you handle your business day? If you're a person of majority, or that means you're an adult over age 18 or 21 or whatever the official adulthood uh, time period is in your state, I'd like to ask you, how do you handle your play? You see, the play of the world is, I'm in charge of me, but you're not in charge of you, right? I mean, isn't that we get taught our whole lives in our educational system, that I'm in charge of me, but I'm also in charge of you, and I'm in charge of him, and I'm in charge of her, and I'm in control. Something I've learned over the course of many years is that the worst way to be in control is to try to be in control. Try to be always in the lead. Try to be always in the play. Try to always be the one who is doing something illegally during the day. Now, I'm not someone who ever did anything illegal. That is absolutely true. And here's why. When I was exceptionally small, I don't know, three, four, five, something like this, I was at a place, I did something immoral, I did something illegal, but I was too young to understand it. And I had an elder sibling who talked me through the process of understanding what happened, took me back to that place, and I returned the item that I took just out of loving kindness to help with the project that we were there to make purchases for. Thankfully, the old lady behind the shop understood my age, understood my station, understood the fact that I didn't understand the whole situation, and everything worked out kind, fine and kind. But from that day forward, I understood the lesson. You see, the problem with most parents is they will say, like I had to suffer through another sibling saying, he's just too little, he doesn't understand. No, you're not teaching the lesson. And because you're not teaching the lesson, guess what? When he was in his 20s, he had difficulties. When she was in her 20s, she had challenges. Because you didn't make time to understand each of your children's spirit. Now, I'm not going to act evaluative or judgmental. But what I'm going to ask you is, where do you stay at night? Are you living in your parents' home as an adult? Or are you living in your own place, making your own livelihood, your own earnings, your own payments for your, your rent or your home or your bike or your car or however you handle your transportation? Maybe it's your monthly bus pass. Because parts of adulthood are being responsible for your life and your life alone. When you think you have rights to someone else's life, you have just made yourself a slave in your own life. You're trying to enslave someone else's life to yours that my guess is you have absolutely no right to under any concept of socially appropriate graces and relationships.